Hey guys, David Fine here from Keys Moths. Welcome back to our second episode, Moth Collecting on No Name Key. Um, this I pulled over to put my light traps out and this guy came right up to me. You know, I guess people feed these things. Don't feed deer, even though they're cute and they look like they want, they want food, but don't feed them. It's not good. You want to try to let them eat their own thing. So anyway, Dude, I'm not gonna feed you. I got nothing for you, bro. Look, he's coming. He comes right up to you, like like as if it's a dog, and it's a it's supposed to be a wild animal. But anyway, guys, um, these things are all over the place. So I'm I got covered up here because the no seams are really really bad, and the mosquitoes are really bad, and that's why um, they are spraying for mosquitoes. And funny thing is, I found out today. Uh, last night I put my light rig out right down the street here and, um, I was there until almost midnight. I think I saw four moths. I did, we did get that, um, you know, that, uh, IO moth female, which was, which was great. Um, trying to get eggs from her, but a couple of sphinx moths, a couple things. And then the bucket traps were right down the street. They, uh, they were, you know, very, very minimal. But I found out that they are spraying that area constantly. So I moved down the street a little bit. I'm going to try and put my traps down this little trail here. The spraying trucks can't get back there. So if I get back far enough on that trail, it might open up to some area where, you know, where we might be able to have some good action. So I'm going to put my light traps down that trail. Um, the deer are running all over the street like crazy. Uh, good thing that there's no, not a lot of cars this far down the street. It's a very tiny island, No Name Key. Uh, but if you ever want to see these key deer, uh, just look up No Name Key. You have to get onto Big Pine Key and then come out west, and then you just drive down the road, and all the deer are all over the place. So um, anyway, guys, I'm going to get to hanging traps, and uh, we'll get back to you shortly. Good morning, Keys Maws. Uh, I didn't take video of myself putting these traps out just because if you've watched my videos before you've seen me put them out before if you haven't seen my videos before go check out some of my other light trapping videos and i'll show you how to put these traps out but um i'm gonna collect these traps now it's really buggy so i got my head mask on no seams are everywhere and i'm gonna show you guys a couple things real quick check this out all right we put three traps out and what i'm gonna do Oh, a guy left me a container. What's this? Oh, one of the locals left me some cocoons, bagworms. All right, cool. We'll raise them and see what happens. <laughs> nice of him. All right, so this this light here, uh, as as always, doesn't hasn't held up. The battery's not big enough, so not sure when that went out. But what I'm going to do, guys. I am going to run and grab all the batteries, bring them back to the truck, and then come get the buckets and bring them back to the truck. And then, uh, what is that? There is a butterfly. Is that a butterfly? Oh, uh, I'm guessing. I'm guessing that is Euphius Brunia, the Florida dusky wing. I am now, yes, that's exactly what it is. Let's see if I can give you a, let's see. Huh. Let's see. Oh, yeah, he tilted his wings. There he is. Right there. Well, can't confirm it from here. I saw him. It's a Euphias Bernia. All right, so now, same battery, guys, but the 15 watt bulb lasts all night and it's still running strong. I don't see anything on the sides.
and I'm gonna just go right up ahead. This one has the, uh, this trap here has the, uh, this power saver <laughs> tail switch on it. So let's see if this one still has juice when I cover this up. Yep, still got juice on this one. That's great. All right, so I'm just gonna collect these batteries and come back for the buckets and then we'll go through the buckets together. All right, I got my three bucket traps out and I already popped the lids off and took care of the ethyl acetate inside. But I wanted to show you guys, this is the extent of the content of all three traps, guys. I mean, there are so few insects in these traps that it's, it's actually a little depressing. I have fond memories of this trail catching many, many, many cool bugs, and there's just nothing to show for. All three traps, guys. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to dump them contents out on my tray, and I'll show you guys what's up um, as I separate everything out. That's two. It's like nothing. Terrible. Three. Okay, guys, so this is it. So as far as moths go, there's not a whole lot. Probably the only interesting thing that I see off, off the bat is this, um, this orange Arctea tiger moth, which is cool. We'll put him to the side. But other than that, I see beetles. It's a lot of this stuff. All right, so this... This is a worn, worn specimen, but this is actually a really good moth. This is Calidota liquata. Um, the streaked Calidota to tiger moth, Arctia tiger moth. Very, very worn specimen, but at least it's a voucher. Um, we got some of these same guys. More of the same from yesterday. Just more more cool tiger beetles. Or tiger beetles. Longhorns. Okay, there's a, there's a longhorn I didn't get last night. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing a whole lot else, guys. Got a little groats sphinx moth. A couple of them. Got a couple of these Bernacea ferva. Okay. All right, we got a Pyactes. Looks like Nana. Okay, now time to sift through all this. Ooh, Sphinx moth still alive. I'll let him go. All right, guys, I sifted through this entire pile of insects. And basically, my take home 
was this little pile right here. And, you know, the rest of this will go to other entomologists that are dealing with stuff, but, and they'll, they'll be interested in some of these beetles and stuff. So, all right. So we have a couple interesting things. The Banassia ferva, these orange and yellow guys, look how variable they are. Um, good, de good deal of uh, variability in the Banassia. And I took a few of those fresh ones to show the variability. These brown noctuids, believe it or not, are something decent. This little geometrid is only found in the lower keys. Never found it in Key Largo or in the mainland. There's our, some of this, these ruby-spotted little pyralids. That's actually a pretty common moth. Deltoid. Couple interesting noctuids. We've got a sea grape feeding pyralid. We've got our, um, oh gosh, I keep forgetting the name of this thing. That feeds on poison wood, this big brown guy here. Then we've got this red pyralid here and probably the rarest moth in this whole thing is this little yellow guy right here with the little stripe across his wings. Uh, only found a couple of those in all the years we've been down here. Um, but that's it, guys. That's pretty much all I'm taking home um, for for survey. The rest of the stuff, will, like I said, will go um, to other people of interest uh, that have interest in butter butterflies and moths and beetles. So... All right, guys, hope you like this video. Um, I'm sure putting up with a lot with these no CMs and stuff, sifting through all that to show you guys a couple cool bugs. Um, signing out from No Name Key, heading up to Key Largo for tonight, going to go one more round of moth collecting. And I'm suspect about the mosquito spray here. I, I don't know. I, they, they told me they sprayed this whole road yesterday and very, very few moths. And, even though that looks like a lot of insects, for three bucket light traps that have been working all night long, that's not a lot of insects. And that is certainly not a lot of moths. So uh, guys, we're gonna try our luck up in Key Largo in uh, National Wildlife Refuge where there is no mosquito spraying. Um, we'll see how we do up there. So guys, thanks for tuning in. Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, I'm gonna get out of this no see hell right now and get some peace of mind. So guys, take care. We'll get out there and enjoy South Florida. We'll see you in Key Largo.